And California real estate is so expensive that families, retirees, and even tech workers are living in cars and vans. Tech workers are living in cars and vans. I'll say it again. Tech workers are living in cars and vans. Cars are no longer just means of transportation in a time when rents are soaring. The housing prices are on the climb. They're also dub uh, doubling as a home. So people are obviously using their homes as cars, uh, cars for homes. Look no further than California, where the median price for a home is a record high of $600,000. So if we go back to this, uh, this we did here, uh, 600000 is going to be about 3400 bucks here. And the m median income should be roughly 110000 uh, 120000 a year to, to afford that. And sleeping in cars is a common occurrence. A recent Slate article explored that the rising epidemic on America's West Coast and found that 15,000 people live in cars and vans and RVs in Los Angeles alone. Okay, there's about 3,000 roughly in the San Diego area. There's about 2,800 to 3,000 roughly in San Francisco. Uh, there's about 900 in, in, in uh, San Jose. So, you know what I'm saying? People live in cars, vans, RVs in Los Angeles alone, citing the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. That's not counting car dwellers in other expensive California cities like San Diego and San Francisco, which I just mentioned right now. The problem has become so severe that local governments are trying to tighten parking restrictions or ban vehicle residency. Okay, guys, I read an article for you guys about eight months ago how California RVs are appearing on Washington, like Seattle, Washington, uh, Oregon areas, and, and RVs are showing up all over the West Coast, the Western Seaborg. So they're tightening parking restrictions or ban vehicle residency Right Slate Report, Amy Pollard. These crackdowns have led to the rise of safe parking programs run by nonprofits and some city governments. They try to accommodate vehicle residents with safety rules and regulations, according to Slate. Dreams for Change in San Diego runs three lots with 150 spaces, 325 residents. People often share a car. Each space costs $2,950 a year. For the company to operate case workers visit often there is no entry after 10 p.m rvs aren't, aren't allowed and neither are sex offenders well that's pretty good in the night housing markets of west coast cities it's not just the uh, destitute or un unemployment no so guys it's not unemployment there's people making money that are homeless i know i i spoke to a guy on the phone and He's going to get back to me. Uh, he works at the Home Depot full time. He works 40 hours and he does and he does uh, overtime. And he lives in a tent two blocks away from the Home Depot. He lives in a tent. He goes to the gym. He showers. You know? Um, West Coast, it's not just the destitute or unemployment who see their cars as their best option, writes Pollard, adding... That residents of Dreams of Chains consist of families, retirees, and even tech workers making near six figures. Guys, I'm not kidding. This is a big effing deal. I'm not playing games here, and I've been talking about this for seven years for a reason. In, or eight years now. In San Francisco, 59% of employees at tech companies can't afford homes. Business insider, insider Millennium Robinson previously reported. Here's the article I read for you guys right here. It should be a bunch of guys standing around in the kitchen. Here it is. A bunch of guys in the living room, kitchen area. I read this article for you guys a few weeks back. Um, business Insider reported, citing stats from Blind and App for Tech Workers. Graham Press, a researcher for former outreach worker for Seattle's Road to Housing program, told Slate that cars are a new form of affordability housing in Seattle, too, adding that he's met Amazon workers who live in vehicles while saving up money to buy a home one day. People are living in boats and vans, too. I think a van would be a lot more better, uh, better in that situation. Californians 
in need of housing aren't picky. They're also resorting to living in boats and vans. Misa, Gideon, Chatfield, and Mike Kraft decided to live in San Francisco Bay in a 900-square-foot houseboat to save money. Robinson reported at $300,000. It costs less to buy than a half a million dollar home on the outskirts of the Bay Area. Yeah, if you could pick up a $300,000 $300, houseboat, MacGyver, MacGyver lived in the houseboat for many years. You know what I'm saying? Tracy Kaplan, a reporter for the Bay Area News Group, also considered a houseboat but didn't want the $1,500 slip fees. Instead, she cashed out her retirement fund to buy a cargo van for $53,894. She explained in an article for the Mercury News, she's spending an additional $37,000 on renovating it into a home. That's a lot of cake. You could buy a decent motorhome for $37,000 large. Both options are still way cheaper than traditional house in the Bay Area, where the medium price home sells for $1.9 million and buyers are commonly billed, bid hundreds of thousands above asking price, Robinson reported. Consequently, about 12 points, 12% 12 of households can afford a home there. So of all the homes there in, in the Bay Area, only 12% of them could afford them. That's it. Joining the hashtag van life movement helps Kaplan avoid spending most of her salary on a place to live in San Francisco and allows her to save more so she can travel when retired. So people, I, I just, it, it eats me inside people. It kills me inside that people are living like this. I spent years anxiously searching for a viable housing solution that would allow me to retire in the Bay Area without going broke. She wrote an article, as the trend grows in popularity around the Bay Area, her biggest concern is finding a place to legally park a new home. I've already found some unusual solutions, including to getting permission to sleep in a secluded lot in an industrial area of San Jose and renting a, sp a spot for a small fee in Santa Cruz Mountains, she wrote. Many Vanners Stealth Park a practice that refers to camping secretly, which often includes parking illegally, but I hope I don't have to. Guys, you know, California, is it's so out of control. I know New Zealand, too. Lots of families sleeping in vehicles in New Zealand, too. And outside of Auckland, there's a lot of families. A lot of single moms with children. Um, I, I'm really choked about this. You know, I'm really choked that... And we're talking six-figure income. We're not so when we're talking about oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. These people are all homeless. They're no good. No, six-figure incomes, and you have to sleep in a car. I know that California knows how to party, but this is nuts. It's being fueled by a lot of a lot of things are fueling this 